And so when I was 14 years old, I wrote a letter to a family friend who lived here in Australia. And I literally shared a vision for myself and my life of getting an education that I would not have had in Zimbabwe. He himself was not necessarily a wealthy person. And he said, why not? And went to different schools in Melbourne here in Australia and explained my family situation. And one of the schools, Kingswood College, gave me a part scholarship to um, complete my year 11, year 12. And, you know, my life completely altered. He paid for my, the rest of my school fees. He paid for my flights and I stayed at his home my comp life completely altered just mm. by writing that letter. Wow. And did you have any idea when you were, do you, do you remember writing that letter? <laughs> yes, I do. In fact, I remember um, that I thought he was coming to Zimbabwe at that period of time um, because he was running a travel agency and instead his business partner came along, Janine. And in that moment I had, I was so disappointed <laughs> because, you know, I had all these plans to ask him in person and yeah. then um, he didn't even show up. Yeah. <laughs> and so for myself, I was like, what am I going to do? And then I thought to myself, I'll write a letter. And I remember writing this letter on my desk and then crunching up the letter many times. And then also feeling as if I was doing something wrong because I didn't tell my mom and my dad that this is what I was going to do. You know, and yeah. so I, I took and had the courage to take this new action mm. to actually ask to come to Australia in a way that I did not expect to do it. So you can imagine me being a 14 year old, having this vision of how I was going to do it. And then it got thwarted. So I had to come up with another plan. 